So uh, we're pregnant. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a, a secret I've been keeping for 21 weeks now, and by secret, I mean from you guys, and by also secret, I mean I just haven't uploaded because I've been so, so sick, crazy sick. You know when they tell you that uh, you'll get like pregnancy symptoms, I like dramatically underestimated what that actually would feel like. And I know everyone's experience is different. Some people don't go through some things. Other people go through other things. First and like a month into second trimester was just awful. <laughs> and I'm sorry I'm complaining about that. Um, it just was, I'm being brutally honest. If any of you watch Colleen, which is Miranda says, not says, Miranda sings. Um, I watched her when she went through her pregnancy and I was like, oh, it doesn't look great and she like there were people the whole time like kind of hating on her for complaining about it but like I understand how she couldn't just not complain about it, especially when you're someone that uploads every single day I'm not that person because you guys barely ever see me so you had no idea um I'm just starting to feel good and I'm 21 weeks so um speaking of which because I want to actually film more, you guys should probably know that this is happening. So like, you know, when I normally do content and I do like gym reviews, this isn't normally what you see. <laughs> but it's what you're gonna see now. Um, and speaking of the gym, that hasn't been happening. <laughs> I made it a goal to go three times this week. I went once. Granted, I did get the stomach flu. Um, and two of those days was like vomiting. So no, I was not gonna go to the gym. Um, but no, I only went the one day before I got the flu, so. Maybe that's where I got it, who knows. So basics, this is gonna be a really short video because I gotta go, we're gonna go to the aquarium here in a second. Um, we found out on February, no, it's not even February. My brain already doesn't work. And that's, I don't know if that's normal this early on. Uh, not January either, September 14th is when I found out. And I found out with this little cheapo test. I kept both of them. I don't know, there's something weird about just like throwing it away because these are the tests that like I found out on. I took a cheapo, um, I woke up in the morning. I wasn't having any like symptoms. My face and my back and my chest were like completely broken out like crazy, like I was 13 again. But I break out and I figured with my period, I was like, this is gonna be a bad one. So that was a symptom, and then I had, um, I was just super tired, and my boobs, they hurt so bad. But again, period symptoms. But I woke up one morning, and my stomach just felt like tight. Like it just felt like it was stretching. Not like my stomach was getting bigger, but like there was something in it that didn't, that was different and was not there before, and that wasn't a normal symptom. And for some reason, I woke up and I was just like, I think I'm pregnant to myself. I said that, it was like four in the morning. <laughs> and I um, took a test, the little cheap test, and two lines came up, and I was confused, and I was like, is this a pregnancy test? And I even like Googled it, I was like, do I have the right test? Maybe I'm taking an ovulation test by accident. Um, and no, it was. And then I took the real, um, the one that actually says Prego on it, and that's when I was like, mm, this is for sure, this is happening. I feel awful because I didn't get to do like with Randall what I would have wanted to do is just like surprise him with it but I was so like in shock from it where I couldn't like keep that a secret even for like five minutes because immediately I went and like grabbed him and he didn't know what he was looking at so I showed him the cheapy test he was like what does this mean and um, I was like well that means we're pregnant and he's like but there's just lines on it. It should say pregnant. I'm like, that's not how this test works. So that's when I got like the um, the clear blue one and it says it in words. And it was the really cutest moment. He's like beyond excited. I'm obviously excited, but I have much more nerves and like anxiety centered around it just because, you know, it's, I'm the one like with the baby inside of me and like all the changes and like it has to go through birth and everything. Um, but he's like definitely in like ready to be dad mode um so when when and if because this has been an awful pregnancy when and if we have our second one i'll try to document that whole process and make it like the way i would have wanted to make it if that makes sense but it all happened the way it should have because that's just how life works so anyways yes i'm pregnant i have been struggling with maternity clothes. I hate them. I hate them so much. Please, if you have like 
been through pregnancies and you've had a bi maternity clothes and you have suggestions for me, I've been living in my Align leggings. I went a size up so that I don't stretch out my good ones and hopefully I get back in that size someday. Um, but other than that, like I can't find anything that I like that's like cute and that doesn't like, isn't like low ride to my vagine. You know, I want, what I really want are just some like one pair of black work pants and like a pair of jeans or like jeggings, no jeans. Uh, that are high rise and I know that like seems impossible because I cannot find them. I did a Shein order, I'm gonna do a video on that. There's some cute things in there. The jeans were almost perfect, almost perfect, but you'll see it's very like, I don't know what they were thinking. Like the comedy of it is that on the pockets and the back, they're so tiny and they're literally like at my waist. So there's like nothing <laughs> where the pockets should, it just looks, it looks stupid. So. Yeah, be on the lookout for that and uh, more pregnancy updates. I think I'm going to do a first trimester like recap here very soon um, before I repress it. <laughs> and then second trimester I'm in right now. And then third trimester I think starts in March. So we have a few months. Anyways, okay. I love you. Oh, you know, I should just tell you guys the gender. Because again, um, I haven't been filming. I didn't film any of this like when we went to the doctor's appointment and like we found out the gender. So I'm just gonna tell you because I at this point don't even know how to do it cute. Um we're having a little baby boy, which is Randall thought we were having a girl for sure. I don't I didn't know either way, but I was kinda like hoping for a boy, at least the first one. Um and it is so I'm excited. So he will be here May twenty first is our due date and it's coming up. We don't have a lot of stuff yet, so <laughs> And we're also 23 hours away from any of our family and friends, which is also another like barrier there. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's everything at the moment. You'll see me more. I'm feeling much better. I have life inside me again. Literally, I do have life inside me, but like in me. There's life here. Okay, love you, bye.